Good morning, it is Jane with Scraptastic Yarns, and today's Bible reading comes from Isaiah 44 through 48. As always, let's open up with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today giving you all honor, praise, and glory. Thank you, Lord. Just thank you for all that you give us each and every day. Thank you for the beauty that surrounds us. Thank you even for this weather as hot as it is, Lord. Some of us glory in this heat. Some of us can't stand it. But we thank you for it. We thank you for the seasons, for they let us know the change is always around us. They also let us know that it is possible for change in us to occur. So, Lord, we thank you for this. We say all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sometimes I don't want to thank him for the heat. I don't like it. Because I is fluffy and I sweats and I don't like to sweat. But that's okay. Chapter 44, Israel, the Lord's Chosen. But now hear, O Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord who made you who formed you from the womb and will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring and my blessings on your descendants. They shall spring up among the grass like willows by flowing streams. This one will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call on the name of Jacob, and another will write on his hand, the Lord's, and name himself by the name of Israel. Beside me there is no God. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me there is no God who is like me. Let him proclaim it. Let him declare and set it before me. Since I appointed an ancient people, let them declare what is to come and what will happen. Fear not, nor be afraid. Have I not told you from of old and declared it? And you are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? There is no rock. I know not any. The folly of idolatry. All who fashion idols are nothing, and the things they delight in do not profit. Their witnesses neither see nor know, that they may be put to shame, who fashions a god or casts an idol that is profitable for nothing. Behold, all his companions shall be put to shame, and the craftsmen are only human. Let them all assemble, let them stand forth. They shall be terrified, they shall be put to shame together. The ironsmith takes a cutting tool and works it over the coals. He fashions it with hammers and works it with his strong arm. He becomes hungry and his strength fails. He drinks no water and is faint. The carpenter stretches a line. He marks it out with a pencil. He shapes it with planes and marks it with a compass. He shapes it into the figure of a man with the beauty of a man to dwell in a house. He cuts down cedars, or he chooses a cypress tree, or an oak, and lets it grow strong among the trees of the forest. He plants a cedar, and the rain nourishes it. Then it becomes fuel for a man. He takes a part of it and warms himself. He kindles a fire and bakes bread. Also, he makes a god and worships it. He makes it an idol and falls down before it. Half of it he burns in the fire. Over the half he eats meat, he roasts it, and it is satisfied. Also he warms himself and says, Aha, I am warm, I have seen the fire. And the rest of it he makes into a god, his idol, and falls down to it, and worships it. He prays to it and says, Deliver me, for you are my god. They know not, nor do they discern, for he has shut their eyes so that they cannot see, and their hearts so they cannot understand. No one considers, nor is there knowledge or discernment to say, Half of it I burned in the fire. I also break bread on its coals. 
I roasted meat and have eaten, and I shall and shall I make the rest of it an abomination? Shall I fall down before a block of wood? He feeds on ashes a deluded heart he has led him astray, and he cannot deliver himself or say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? The Lord redeems Israel. Remember these things, O Jacob, O Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you. You are my servant. O Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. I have blotted out your transgressions like a cloud and your sins like mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing, O heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout, O depths of the earth. Break forth into singing, O mountains, O forest, and every tree in it. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and will be glorified in Israel. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, who formed you from the womb. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread out the earth by myself, who frustrates the signs of liars and make fools of diviners, who turns wise men back and makes their knowledge foolish, who confirms the word of his servant and fulfills the counsel of his messengers, who says of Jerusalem, She shall be inhabitant, and of the cities of Judah, they shall be built, and I will raise up their ruins. Who says to the deep, Be dry, I will dry up your rivers. Who says of Cy Cyrus, He is my shepherd, and he shall fulfill all my purpose. Saying of Jerusalem, She shall be built, and of the temple your foundation shall be laid. <coughs> Cyrus, God's Instrument Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him and to loose the belts of kings, to open doors before him that gates may not be closed. I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hordes in secret places that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who call you by your name. For the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel, my chosen, I call you by your name. I name you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Beside me there is no God. I equip you, though you do not know me, and that people may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the rains, clouds rain down of righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation and righteousness may bear fruit. Let the earth cause them both to sprout. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to him who strives with him who formed him, a pot among earthen pots. Does a clay say to him who forms it, What are you making? Or your work has no handles. Woe to him who says to the father, What are you begetting? Or to a woman, With what are you in labor? Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and the one who formed him, Ask me of things to come, will you command me concerning my children and the work of my hands? I made the earth and created man on it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens, and I have commanded all their host. I have stirred him up in righteousness, and I will make all his ways level. He shall build my city and set my exiles free. Not for price or reward, says the Lord of hosts. The Lord, the only Savior. Thus says the Lord, the wealth of Egypt and the merchandise of Cush and the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over you and be yours. They shall follow you. They shall come over in chains and bow down to you. They will plead with you, saying, Surely God is in you and there is no other, no God beside him. Truly you are a God who hides himself, O God of Israel, the Savior. All of them are put to shame and confounded. The makers of idols go in confusion together. 
but Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation. You shall not be put to shame or confounded to all eternity, for thus says the Lord who created the heavens, He is God. Who formed the earth and made it, He established it. He did not create it empty. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, Seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, you survivors of the nations. They have no knowledge who carry about their wooden idols and keep on praying to a God that cannot save. Declare and present your case. Let them take counsel together. Who told this long ago? Who declared it of old? Was it not I, the Lord? And there is no other God beside me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none besides me. Turn to me and be saved all the ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I have sworn from my mouth, has gone out in righteousness a word that shall not return. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear allegiance. Only in the Lord it shall be said of me, our righteousness and strength. To him shall come and be ashamed all who were incensed against him. In the Lord all the offspring of Israel shall be justified and shall glory. Sorry about that. Chapter 46, The Idols of Babylon and the One True God. Bel bowed down, Nebo stoops. Their idols are on beast and livestock. These burdens you carry are borne as burdens on weary beast. They stoop, they bow down together, and they cannot save the burden. But themselves go into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel who have been born by me from before your birth, carried from the womb even to your old age. I am he, and to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. I will carry and will save. To whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be alike? Those who lavish gold from the purse and weigh out silver in the scales hire a goldsmith and he makes it into a god then they fall down and worship. They lift it to their shoulders. They carry it. They set it in its place and it stands there. It cannot move from its place. If one cries to it, it does not answer or save him from his trouble. Remember this and stand firm. Recall it to mind, you transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things have not, things yet, things not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, I will accomplish all my purpose, calling a bird of prey from the east, the man of my counsel from a far country I have spoken, and I will bring it to pass, I have purposed, and I will do it. Listen to me, you stubborn of heart, for you who are far from righteousness, I bring near my righteousness, it is not far off, and my salvation will not delay. I will put salvation in Zion, for Israel my glory. Chapter 47, The Humiliation of Babylon Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind flour. Put off your veil. Strip off your robe. Uncover your legs. Pass through the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered. Your disgrace shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go in darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For you shall no more be called the mistress of kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I profaned my heritage. I gave them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the aged you made your yoke 
exceedingly heavy. You said, I shall be mistress forever, so that you did not lay these things to heart or remember their end. Now therefore hear this, you lover of pleasures who sit securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is no one besides me. I shall not sit as a widow or know the loss of children. These two things shall come to you in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood shall come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and the great power of your enchantments. You felt secure in your wickedness. You said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge led you astray, and you said in your heart, I am, and there is no one besides me. But evil shall come upon you, which you will not know how to charm away. Disaster shall fall upon you, for which you will not be able to atone. And ruin shall come upon you suddenly, of which you know nothing. Stand fast in your enchantments and your many sorceries, with it which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire tre terror. You are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you. Those who divide the heavens, who gaze at the stars, who at the new moons make known what shall come upon you. Behold, they are like stubble. The fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. No coal from the warming itself is this. No fire to sit before. Such to you are those who with whom you have labored, who have done business with you from your youth. They wander about each in his own direction. There is no one to save you. Chapter 48 Israel Refined, refined for God's Glory Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Israel, and who come from the waters of Judah who swear by the name of the Lord and confess the God of Israel, but not in truth or right, for they call themselves after the holy city and stay themselves on the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. The former things I declared of old, they went out from my mouth and I announced them. And then, and suddenly I did them and they came to pass because I know that you are obstinate and your neck is an iron sinew and your forehead brass. I declared them to you from of old. Before they came to pass, I announced them to you, lest you should say, My idol did them, my carved image, and my metal image commanded them. You have heard, now see all this, and will you not declare it? From this time forth I announce to you new things, hidden things that you have not known. They are created now, not long ago. Before today you have never heard of them, lest you should say, Behold, I knew them. You have never heard, you have never known. From of old your ear has not been opened. For I knew that you would surely deal treacherously, and that from before birth you were called a rebel. For my name's sake I defer my anger. For the sake of my praise I will restrain it for you that I may not cut you off. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tried you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake I do it. For how should my name be profaned? My glory I will not give it to another. The Lord's call to Israel. Listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel whom I called. I am he, I am the first, and I am the last. My hand laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand forth together. Assemble all of you and listen. Who among them has declared these things? The Lord loves him. He shall perform his purpose on Babylon, and his arm shall be against the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken and called him. I have brought him, and he will prosper in his way. Draw near to me, hear this. From the beginning I have not spoken in secret. From the time it came to be I have been there. And now the Lord God has sent me and his spirit. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. 
I am the Lord your God who teaches you, prophet, who leads you in the way you should go. Oh, that you have paid attention to my commandments, then your peace would have been like a river, and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Your offspring would have been like the sand, and your descendants like its grains. Their name would never be cut off or destroyed from before me. Go out from Babylon, flee from Galdea. Declare this with a shout of joy, proclaim it, send it out to the end of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. They did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow for them for them from the rock. He split the wa- rock and the water gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. And that is the end of the reading for today. As always, be kind to one another, be a blessing to others. Love one another and get out there and see this big, beautiful world we live in. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.